Hi there. Um, yeah, this is for science class, so I don't really know who's gonna see this, but you know, but you know, but you know, but you know. Anyways, today we're gonna be talking about the Six Kingdoms. If you don't know what that is, you should probably look it up, but you know, I'm gonna talk about the Six Kingdoms, you know, life or whatever you'd like to call them. But this is for my science project, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be listing this as a real video or not, but you know, you'll know. <laughs> but anyways, let's, 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 let's just get right to this, shall we? The first, the, well, my first kingdoms, kingdom, well, there used to be just one kingdom, well, bacteria used to be in one kingdom, you know. As scientists learn more about bacteria, they kind of separated it into two separate kingdoms. So, my first kingdom was bacteria, but it's not bacteria anymore, it's two different types of bacteria. It's eubacteria and archaebacteria. And now, let's talk a bit about archaebacteria. It's, it's, it's pretty archaic, if you would. It's unicellular, which means it's just made up of one cell. It's also prokaryotic, which means it's very simple cells that do not have a nucleus or any other organelles. If you don't know what organelle means, then organelles are organelles. Yeah. Anyways. Some do have cell walls, though. Some do. And what the cell walls are made of are chitin or chitin, whatever you like to pronounce it, but I might be, get re yelled at for pronouncing it wrong, so I apologize, so that's why I put two things. But the, it's, it's, it's a decomposer and a producer. It gets energy from other organisms, which means it consumes other organisms, and it also makes their own food from the chemicals in their surroundings. That could have been aw we 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 could we could like just only if humans could be photosynthesis like you know kind of thing producers we're we're kind of both I guess I don't know hi uh sorry I had a phone call and it kind of interrupted my recording but I'm gonna go back through RK and then go RK bacteria kingdoms through all the kingdoms I'm gonna keep going what I am gonna do is right about there's gonna be a picture of RK bacteria and at the end I'm gonna give three examples for RK and UK RK bacteria and uh, yeah RK and U bacteria my bad not UK uh, R yeah anyways there's gonna be a picture for RK and all the others there's gonna be a picture and the title if I don't have it then I'll try to add an annotation in YouTube. But anyways, I digress. Back to RK bacteria. RK bacteria, like I said, is pretty archaic. It, it's, it lives in very extreme, uh, you know, environments like volcanoes. I wouldn't think hurricanes, but you get what I mean. It's actually 3.5 billion years old. That's crazy. I mean, that's pretty old. And... Let's let's get into the types right now. There are uno, dos, tres, three, three types of RK bacteria. There are methogens, which make methane. They're found in sewage treatment plants, digestive tracts of remnant, and bogs. And also, they live in anaerob anaerobic. Do I, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but I'm I'm trying. But they're also halophiles, which means they live in high salt concentrations, which is, I don't know if it's like the salt that we put in our food, but if RK bacteria is there, yum. 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 Um, there's the third one, thermophiles, which means it loves heats. It's f found in hot springs and hydrothermal vents, and it's chemosynthetic. Ha! Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that thing quite a beautiful thing? That thing. Nope, that thing. That thing. That, no, 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 no. Sorry. That thing. That thing's quite beautiful, isn't it? Aren't you quite beautiful, little guy? Ah, 
Isn't he quite beautiful? It, let's let's get a word from Mr. RK Bacteria. RK Bacteria, how are you doing today? Pretty bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, RK. So I'm gonna get back to this project now. Are you cool with that? No, please don't leave me. Gotcha. Sorry about that jump cut. I fell out of my seat after that. I stood up and then fell. I had to cut it out. This is just a minute afterwards. The type of cells in RK bacteria are prokaryotic. They're prokaryotic, which means they're, well, actually, no, it's simple prokaryotic. And they're also unicellular, which means it's single-celled. And it, it can be a producer and a decomposer. So, you know. It, it gets its it gets its energy from other organisms and then it produces its own food from the chemicals in its surroundings it's a and its reproduction is asexual which means it's a binary fission let's go to the next one this is you bacteria Basically touching base on you bacteria and bacteria. But you bacteria lives everywhere. It lives in the air, the water, the soil. Each square centimeter of t of your of your skin has an average of a hundred thousand bacteria. A hundred thousand a hundred thousand. And one teaspoon of topsoil contains Billions, billions, more than billions of bacteria. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. And you know, some some bacteria are photosynthetic. So that means, for you non-science enthusiasts out there, photosynthetic means they can make food from the sunlight. Just like plants. That's the example I give. Uh... Just like plants, they get their own food from some. Some get their own food from sunlight. Other absorb food from the material they live on or in. Depends on where they are. You know. Other, other, the freaks, the freaks of the group, the freaks of the bacteria, get foods from iron and sulfur and other materials such as those. But the microbes that live in your gut absorb nutrients from the digested food, and it helps you. And then they're like, "Um, no, 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 no." Now, something I did touch on RK bacteria was the phylums. There are three major phylums in you bacteria. There are sphere-shaped bacteria, rod-shaped bacteria and spiral-shaped bacteria. Now, the sphere-shaped bacteria, or cocci, sometimes grow in chains or in clumps, like a bunch of grapes, if you would. I'll put a picture of <coughs> sphere-shaped bacteria. Onto the rod-shaped bacteria, or bacali, bacali. Broccoli. No, not broccoli, but bacali. Bacali can also form in chains, too. It's some types... I mean, some types of these bacteria also have whip-like structures called flagella. I mean, that might sound funny, like, <laughs> flagella. But it does help them move around. I mean, come on. It's like a wheelchair for us, but for them, well, wheelchair and legs for us, but for them, it's feet and motile propellers. <laughs> and whoosh, the spiral shape, the spiral shapes or spirala, spirala, S-P-I-R-I-L-L-A, spirala can actually use their shape to propel themselves. Like, like, let's look at it this way. If they, like a corkscrew, if you would. They just spiral themselves up and boom! Gone. Gone like the wind. Gone like the wind. Now, the sphere-shaped bacteria phylums 
Phylums. The phylums. Are... Streptococcus. Or strep throat. Another one is... You're gonna have to... I, I have to look at the actual script real quick to read this one. Staff Iloka uh, Staff Iloka It's response. It's responsible for staph infections and gangrene. Rod-shaped bacteria is E. coli or Escherichia coli. Found in intestines in mammals. Salmonella, Salmonella typhi cause typhoid fever and food poisoning. And then spiral shaped or spiral shaped is typhoon trepanma paldum clara, which is syphilis. And Borali bugatorphory, which is Lyme's disease. Isn't that isn't that pretty? Also, U bacteria is prokaryotic, simple prokaryotic, and unicellular, one cell. It's a producer and a decomposer, just like archaea bacteria. There's also it is an asexual binary fusion. Okay. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. So, let's get a word from Mr. Eubacteria. Ah, oh, you're a quiet one. They don't talk like Arcadas. They're not cool enough for Arcade. Hey. Hey. Let's talk about the Protist Kingdom. Alright, the Protist Kingdom. So... Like whoops, that's a protest. Whoops, that's a that's his protist kingdom. Okay, so the type of cells. Well, most protists, I guess, are unicellular. So again, for you non-science enthusiasts, that is has one cell. Some are also multicellular, which means they are made of many cells. You can get they're pretty self-explanatory. Most unicellular protists, though, you live in colonies, like humans huddled together in the movie Colony. Um, <laughs> that was dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> but all protists are eukaryotic. That's a thing. That means they have a nucleus and organelles. The, I mean... So, some are microscopic and others can be up to 100 meters in length. That's like... I guess. I mean... I mean, think about it. That's, that's pretty... I swore! I swore! I apologize. I'll bleep that out. Um, but all live in water and moist environments, though. The type of organism is they are de they're decomposers. Uh, well, they're both decomposers and comp producers. And again, for you non-science enthusiasts, decomposers mean they break down other organisms' wastes. They're like fungus, and they get their nutrients from that. Producers, some make their own food, like plants. And they're a third, which is a consumer, which obtain their energy like eating, like us, homo sapiens, you know? But there are three major phylums. Three major. There are <whistles> fungus type. <whistles> Plant-like. <whistles> Animal-like. Known as protozoan. The cell type. The cell type. Cell type. Cell type. The cell type for the fungus like are unicellular. It's this organism has it's a decomposer. It's, it's a fungus like protist with cell walls made of chitin and it re, and it produces reproduces 
asexually through spores. This is the kind of, like, protus that wants to be a copycat of the fungus because the fungus is the cool kids. And they are able to move at some point in their lives. And there are three basic groups. Water molds. Downy middews. And slime molds. And the plant-like are unicellular, multicellular, and live in colonies. They're, they are the producers. They live in soil and they breed in the bark of trees. And fresh and salt. I mean, fresh and salt water, my bad. I ran into a brain fart. A brain fart. Um, they are... They're very, they're like the essential, well, one of the essential things to Earth. Because they produce a good, heavy, sufficient amount of oxygen from, you know, the basic aquatic food chains. For the basic, for the, for, oxygen and for the basic aquatic food chains, I guess. There are four groups to this one, four basic groups and examples, which is, I don't, I'm going to not put forwarders for these, so let's just put back protists. There are the... Sorry, I have to look at the script again. Uh, Alright. They are the organoids. Uh, the organoids. Dinoflagellates. Uh, diatoms and algae. Green, red, and brown. Uh, there. Then there's the protozoan animal-like. They're only unicellular. Again, just one cell. They're the consumers. They're like the animal. Like they like to, they move. They like to move in their environments. They find their food. They hunt it down and then they eat it. And there's four basic groups, which is pseudopods, which are basically amoebas. There's cilia, which is pharmacillium. There's flagella, which can also be gardia. There's and also, you know, disease causings like plasmodium. 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 And, you know, like, yeah, I, uh, and then it's basically it. I mean, they're eukaryotic, which complex eukaryotic. They're unicellular, multicellular living colonies. I mean, they're producer, consumers. I'm just going through this again. And they're asexual and sexual, just to get that out there. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty, I don't know what that was. <laughs> but anyways... That's a fungus. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, funguses are unicellular and multicellular. Again, for you non-science enthusiasts that have no clue what that means, that means some have one cell, some have multi. And they are eukaryotic too, which means, well, actually, they also have cell walls. And, all right. But fungus, funguses are decomposers, which means for you non-science enthusiasts, they get their energy from other organisms, from dead, decaying tissue, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, f fungus like to digest their food outside their bodies like they release enzymes into the surrounding environment breaking down organic material matter into a form of the fungus can absorb pretty weird pretty 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 hardcore for the funguses there they're pretty the pretty hardcore <laughs> but anyways um <laughs> don't mind me I gotta, I gotta look at the script real quick uh, I'm a <sighs>
let me look at the script real quick. <laughs> okay. I'm down at the part where it's the reproduction. The reproduction is they reproduce asexually. They reproduce with spores. Now everybody should know that. I mean, they, when you think of fungus, you think of mushroom, and then you think of the... If you never had a mushroom or crushed it, and then it's like a little powder in your fingers. You, you have... You, you have mushroom semen on your fingers. <laughs> but anyways, five major phylums. There's the club fungi, the sac fungi, lichens, congregation fungi, and imperfect fungi. Now, to get this out of the way for the pictures, there is... And I want to... Don't mind me butchering these words, but the basidami... Coda. It's the best down the coda right there, right there. That little guy. Looks like the common mushroom. And then for sac fungi, there's Asacomicata, which is that thing I talked about, the crushing into the fingers. That thing. That thing. That thing. For the lichens, there's the Mycophobia capiata. To me, that looks like uh, barnacles, not barnacles. I guess that looks like barnacles, right? Yeah, that looks like a barnacle. Um, Zygomiacata, which I don't know what that looks like. And then that's for the congregation fungi. And the imperfect fungi are the Deuteromycota, which I don't even know what that thing is. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there, and for the club fungi, there is the, there are many type of mushrooms in, in that phylum or group. They look like umbrellas, like, like, if I was a mushroom, I'd have a, like, right now, you're seeing a mushroom on me, on my face. Like, I'm a mushroom now. I'm a mushroom. That's what a mushroom looks like. Huh. Um, um, but you know, they grow on... Oh, I just hit my... Oh. Ow. And in the club fun, guys, there's different types, like Argixius, Amanita, Bolitus, Cantherolus, and they include mushrooms out by collecting groomers among 25,000 species in this phylum. Wow! Um, in the sac fungi, there is the Ascomicata, which is like that little... That type that was that... Sorry about that jump cut, guys. I had to... I ran into a little complication, but... Once again, there's the club fungi, which is the mushroom which I did that weird mushroom on my, me being a mushroom thing. There's the sac fungi, which is basically the thing that, I don't know if you were ever a kid, you squished it and that was like a <laughs> orange powder. And there's, it's, it's, it, whenever you disturb it, it releases a spore, a cloud of spore smoke, I guess, which is the thing that I was talking about, I guess, smoke. The uh, lichens, the lichens, uh, which is the Mycosophia chafida yada. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, let me read off the script. Uh, there are over 25,000 species of lichens. Um, they are, there's symbolic union between fungus and algae, or sometimes cyanotobacteria. The algae provide nutrients, and the Fungus protects them from the elements. The result is a new organism uh, different from both the original species. And that's kind of... And for the congregational, there, you know, there's over 600 species. And, well, the best known is 600 species of bread mold. And the example is Rhizopus stolonifer. Uh, imperfect fungi there's you know the most well-known for imperfect fungi is called athlete's foot which means the picture you saw before was a 
athlete's foot. That, that, that thing in the corner, that's an athlete's foot. That's disgusting. Fun guy is disgusting. <laughs> but, you know, imperfect fungi do do some good things. Like, there is penicillin, and then there's the bad, which is a yeast infection. I don't know if they're both, if it's for both yeast infections, but whatever. Um, anyways. <laughs> and the use of the fungi kingdom, which is a little... Fun tidbit, 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 which the tidbit, 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 tidbit of information is people eat mushrooms of all shapes, sizes, and colors. I mean, it's used to make well yeast, which is a fungus, is used to making bread, wine, beer, and solvents. There are funguses grown in large vats. Penicillin is a fungus. And penicillin causes ringworm and athlete's foot. And even some fungus grows on food, such as bread mold. So fungus grows on fungus. Drugs are made from fungus. Fungus is fungus. Fungus is crazy. But... Let me touch back on base. Fungus is unique, I mean eukaryote, which is the complex eukaryote. Unicellular and multicellular, they're decomposers, and they reproduce asexually. So, uh, yeah! Hello, and... That's a plant. It's the plant kingdom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, plants are multicellular. It means it has multiple cells. It is also, also, also eukaryotic. Eukaryotic, which is a very complex cells that have nucleuses and many other organelles. Eukaryotic complex. Uh, all plant cells have cell walls, and many have chloroplasts. And the cell walls are made of chitin or chitin, I think. Um, all, pl uh, all plants are adapted from living land. So it's like living beings on living beings. Weird, right? Uh, plants, uh, the plant kingdom, they, they consist of all producers. They make their own food through photosynthesis. And photosynthesis means uh, with the chlorophyll, they get their energy and food from the sun. That's why plants need sun to grow, because of their chlorophyll. It's, it's it, well, sunlight and water, my bet. Sunlight and water. And that, well, actually, they use the sunlight... The energy from the sunlight to change water and carbon dioxide into sugar called glucose and oxygen. My bad. Glucose is a food for, uh, for the plant and carbon dioxide is what plants eat. So they're good for pollution, you know. <laughs> they reproduce asexually. They have seeds like fruits or plants. They all have seeds. They all have seeds. I've told... I've told, I've told, I've told you guys like that fungus that, that you pop and that's its seed. That's seeds, but this is asexually. But instead of spores, this is seeds. This is a different way. So if you eat fruit, you're eating their seeds. You're eating the, yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. Totally disregard what I just said there. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna jump cut that. Read this script, Gabe. Read this script. God, stick to the script, you improvising sack of shit. Ah. Oh.
Hi, sorry, I had a jump cut. Uh, I uh, sort of messed up my facts, so here we go. Plant Kingdom reproduces, most kinds of plants reproduce sexually through seeds, which is like, you know, apples and stuff, and stuff, and those kind of seeds. But ferns and mosses reproduce asexually with spores. Like, I didn't even know ferns produced spores. I've, like, always dove into ferns. I'd probably have fern stuff on me. Oh, God. <laughs> but there are 12, not one, not five, not six, but 12. 12 major groups. Well, divisions. At least four classification systems are in common use of four plants. They're, they're divided into 12. Phyla. So, for the sake of not putting all these pictures of all these different things, because that's going to take some time, uh, here's a picture of my head covering a mushroom. There's, there, that, yep, that's, that's my head into mushroom form. Hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoy that. But, first phylum, and I have to get close, because this, this is a lot, this is a lot. The first phylum is bryophyta, which is mosses. Its tissue structure is non-vascular, which is bryophyta, yeah. And it's, see, it, and it's, it's, it, it, produces seeds. Its stature is moss-like. The next one, and which is phalaophyta, which is whisk ferns, which is vascular plants, which is tracheophyta. It's seed producers, so it's sexual, sexual. Uh, but this is ferns and tree-like, so it's like a fern in, in like a tree. Then there's the next one, which is club ferns, which is lycophodifidat. <laughs> it's vascular. The uh, next one is cephanophyta, which is horse tails, which is vascular. There's another ferns, which is philosophyta, <laughs> and then there's cycads, ginkgos, conifers. Geniophytus, fl flowering plants, two seed leaves, and single seed leaves. Now, the uh, cycads down to can conifers, no, cycads all the way down to gin otophyta are naked seeds. And below that, the three that I said, the two seed flowering plants and the single seeds are covered seeds. The rest are spores. And that's all I'm getting into. I can't read all of that. Um, mosses. Mosses are non-vascular plants. I mean, mosses. You've seen mosses. They're very small. They're real. They're real small structure type things that you'll see growing on walls, trees, etc., etc. And then ferns. Ferns are those weird little plants that grow out of the ground that people trim hedges sometimes. They're ferns. They're basically fluid flowing through all their bodies. That's their vascular system. They're like mosses. They are produced with spores and seeds. They're basically, there's a basically around 12,000 species. It's crazy. Then the conifers. Conifers are those giant trees. They reproduce sexually with seeds, not spores, seeds. However, they are the, the seeds are naked, which means they're not covered by an ovary. It just means they're naked. They're buck. They're buck nude. They're naked. They're naked. Uh, and then the angiosperms, which means they have a final improvement in the plant reproduction. Okay. Okay, the dicots. The dicots are angiosperms in a class of dicots. Dicota donne is two seed leaves. Wait. Please help me. 
monocots, just the same as before, but you'll see them in fields, they're grass. They're basically grass and like fields are covered in it. Uh, but plants, they're eukaryotic, I'm going over this, eukaryotic complex, multicellular, which means many cells, many specialized cells, they're producers, and they are both asexual spores and sexual seeds. It depends on which kind of plant. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed that picture of me covered, covering a mushroom, so. Howdy, um, yeah, so, uh, that's, that's, that, that, that is me on a monkey, my face on a monkey, my head on a monkey body, that's animal, because I'm on a monkey, it's animal kingdom, just for a prime example, I guess, is the monkey. But animal kingdom is multicellular, which means us, us, monk, well, apes, descendants from apes, I, whatever. Animals are made up of many different cells, not just one. We are, and the animal kingdom is made of euka they're eukaryotes. It means it's very complex cells that have nucleus and many other organelles. Animal cells do not have cell wall but they do have a cell membrane. Some animals are adapted for living on land and water or a combination of both, like toads or turtles or super gigantic whale shark man monkey thing. Type of organisms, all animals are consumers. They feed on other organisms. Some are carnivores. Some are some are carnivores. Some are herbivores, omnivores, and scavengers. They reproduce sexually and asexually. Type of animals. There are two major divisions in the animal kingdom: invertebrates and vertebrates. Invertebrates are animals without a backbone, and vertebrates are animals with a backbone, which is one phylum. Fifth. 55,000 species and 32 phylums for the invertebrates and 735 species. Uh, the animal examples for invertebrates are sponges, chindarians, worms, and the chindarians are jellyfish, and corolla, worms, mollusks. Somebody came home and interrupted, so here's the rest of the things. Anthropopes, which are crabs, crayfish, shrimp, lobsters, ar arachnids, spiders, mites, ticks, scorpions, centipedes, millipedes, insects. Then there are endoskeletons, well, things that have endoskeletons, which are sea urchins, sand dollars, sea turtles, I mean sea stars, and brittle fish. Then for the vertebrates, there are cold-blooded fish, bony fish, trout, cod, etc. Amphibians, which are toads, frogs, uh, amphibians without tails, are salamanders and newtons, reptiles, reptilia, snakes, lizards, etc. Warm-blooded are birds, mammals, dolphins, dogs, humans, and that nature. Hi, uh, sorry about that. Somebody came home and interrupted, so I had to do that weird voice thing. But, animal, animal kingdom is eukaryote complex. It's also multicellular, which is many specialized cells. It's a consumer. That's the type of organism. Us animals are consumers. And the way we reproduce is asexually and sexually. Hey, um, welcome to the ending of my Six Kingdoms, which is about, maybe about 43 minutes, 42 minutes, I don't know, but if you stuck through this to the end, you're amazing. You're amazing. You are amazing. I didn't expect anybody but my teacher or even some classmates to watch this video this is for this is for a class this isn't, isn't something i'm about to do all the time but if you watch this i hope you enjoyed my eyes look amazing um i'm gonna try something new you know you know but uh if you enjoy i'd like you to subscribe to my youtube
Follow me on Twitch. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll try to post some more stuff on Twitter. I'll try to live stream more. Try to subscribe. I'll try to upload more. Oh, also on the 16th of February. It's going to be my birthday. Uh, I don't even know what day it is. I don't even I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I'm too tired to know. This is really late at night. This is like, I don't know, 2 in the morning. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Here, I don't know whenever this pops up. It's my most recent video before this one. Go click on the annotation. Go on. I know you want to click it. Click it. Click it. Click it. Click it. Click it. All right. Uh, that's to my most recent video before this one. And this little guy up here. This 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 little guy. That that little guy. I don't even know what I'm gonna put up there. But whatever I put up there. Uh, is gonna be right there, and that's gonna be an annotation to nothing. Just, it's just gonna be there. I'm just gonna leave this video right here till the ending of this video, or until now. Um, <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, stay the freshest.